Hi, I'm Paul Dwyer. I'm assistant principal cellist at Lyric Opera of Chicago. Um, I've been playing cello for, let's see, um, since I was six, let's just say that. Um, and um, originally I wanted to play the bass, but they told me it was too big. So I started on a half size cello and here I am. As we all know, the, the quarantine has been a challenge for all of us in many different ways. Um, in terms of playing the cello, you know, we're all finding that we miss playing with our colleagues. I miss playing in the pit. Um, I miss seeing my stand partner and my cello section. I miss being part of these big opera productions. And we're all kind of finding ways to, to cope with this um, in terms of in terms of our instrument. Some people I think are just seeing it as a little bit of a sabbatical. I actually came up with a little project early on during this crisis where I got in touch with a bunch of composer friends, old and new, and um, I'm actually having them write pieces for me in response to this situation. Um, basically, they write me a piece, I record them and post videos. Um, it's been a really great way to engage engage myself, but also engage with, with people who might want that also. So um, that's been one w good way to connect and also just keep my mind and fingers busy. I chose the Dvorak Silent Woods. Um, well, the most simple answer is just because it's such a beautiful piece. It's fun to play and it's always an audience favorite. Um, whenever I think of what to program and put on a concert, I like to think about the space I'll be in and um, you know, playing at the Chicago Cultural Center is always a huge pleasure. It's such an experience. And it does especially well with really expansive singing music, um, just like the, the Dvorak piece, I feel. So I, those, that's one of the pieces I thought of immediately to do there. Um, I, in terms of a story for the piece, I think um, it's a different story every time I play it and one thing I really like is thinking about how every audience member is creating their own story as the music unfolds and that can be a very specific narrative it, it can be a distant memory um, it can even just be a mood or you know looking out the window and seeing what's happening um, so I, I like to think about that with this piece because it is called Silent Woods I do often like to think about um, just being in nature and kind of the, the sense of being and nostalgia and perspective that that can provide. So I, I often think about those kinds of things when I'm playing this piece. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoy the Dvorak.